Hey guys, what's happening? Today we're going to talk about badges real quick, um, as we've done before. But first, I want to show you this this paint. Okay, it's a red color. All right, kind of a crimson. The car's classified as garnet. Okay. Anyway, on the front we have a black grill with a red SS badge. Right, that's cool. Red on black is good. Now, if we go back here and look, we have this color, this beautiful garnet color, and a kind of candy red, almost an orange SS. So these two reds are a little not the same. <laughs> so, um, to me, that's kind of a no-no. Uh, I've got three little girls and a wife, and she won't let them leave the house if they have two variations of the same color. So what I've done is I have obtained a black badge. It costs about $10 of shipping. And I'm inclined to believe that this black is going to look better on here than the red. I wish I could just put them both. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> They would look great together. Anyway, so the easiest way I've found in the past to remove these uh, badges with a foam adhesive backing or 3M strips is to use a fishing string. You can see I've already done some of it. I don't, I'm using a phone, my iPhone, to record this, so um, I've cheated a little and I've just about got this off of here. I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to remove the foam adhesive. Uh, then what we're going to do is just use some rubbing alcohol to clean the paint behind this. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean because the 3M adhesive that's on the back of the new badge is really tough. Um, once you put it on, there's no getting it off without cutting it or uh, using some sort of solvent to, to cut it. So this fishing string is gonna cut it just like butter and uh, you'll see, hopefully you can see it well enough from the angle I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you at. So let me set you down here and bear with me while I get you lined up. As you know, I don't really have time, I feel, to make videos that I edit. So, anyway, hopefully that'll give you a good angle on what I'm doing. And so basically, you just put the string behind it, you move it back and forth, apply enough pressure to get through it without tearing your string. See, it stays stuck on there. That's how you know you've done a good job. And that just pops off of there. All right. You take a little towel and a little rubbing alcohol. You don't want to clean too much beyond where your badge was because if you do that, you could scratch the clear coat a little. And of course, we don't want to scratch the clear coat. But anyway, like I said, you're going to get most of it off. And then you'll just begin to peel off your backing here. Hopefully you can see this. Very simple to do. I'm going to reuse the red badge, maybe even reuse it inside the car. Make sure you put it up there with the connected part on the bottom, right? Let me figure out how to pick you guys up without messing everything up. You can kind of see, I don't know if that comes through or not, but you can kind of see where a little of the adhesive remains. Get it right where you want it. Oops, trying to cover this up here. Let me set you down for a minute so I can get this straight. I want to get it done right the first time. Once you press it on, there's no going back. And then you just apply firm pressure. We don't want to break anything. 
but just firm pressure. This bumper is pretty hollow, so. Okay. I need to wipe this off of here a little bit. All right, and you know, the other cool thing about leaving a little bit of that adhesive on there, of course I'll clean this up some more and I'll use a finishing, like a spray wax, like what I always use. But I got that on there nice and straight because I, I left myself a little bit of an outline from the old badge that I could use kind of as a guide to make sure I got it on there straight. Let's back up a little and take a look at this. Big grasshopper. Anyway, so yeah, there's the black badge. It's on there nice and straight. I'll do a little final cleanup around the outside of it, but I think the black really pops with the black badge, the, the black uh, Chevy emblem. And it's not red on red. Very simple. Of course, you'll. I cheated a little and did some of this before I got you guys started in this video, just for ease of, of doing it. But I think it looks good. Uh, remember to uh, comment below, like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll pop out some more of these videos. Thanks for your time, guys. Hope you like it. I do. I think it pops.